Let's talk about how you made this amount of money, uh, which is uh, by far the largest amount of money that any individual has in Africa. So um, you came from a wealthy family or not a wealthy family? Uh, I came from a wealthy family. Uh, my late uh, uh, great-grandfather uh, in the 1940s was actually the uh, richest, uh, you know, uh, West African. My late grandfather was one of the wealthiest Nigerian, you know, uh, the family name is Dentata. That's from my maternal side. Uh, my father too, you know, was fairly rich, you know, but he was both, uh, you know, in business and also in right. politics. But you know, uh, David, one thing that I'm very, very proud of is that I did not inherit any money from my father. I built everything from scratch to I am. So your father died when you were relatively young? Yeah, he died when I was eight years old. So uh, he didn't leave in his will a large amount of money for you? Well, he left in the will, but uh, you know, I mean, uh, whatever that I inherited from him, which means in assets, I gave that one to charity since then. Okay. So did you go to college in uh, Nigeria? No, I, he went in uh, Egypt. Egypt, all right. And what did you study? Uh, business. All right, so you graduated at what age? I graduated at about 20 years old. All right, so you went back from Egypt to Nigeria? Yes, I went back. And then and I, what, did you get a job? What did you do? I started work with uh, my, you know, uncle, but there's a few months, and then I went to Lagos, and now I started my own business by just, you know, buying cement, selling. You know, it was just a very low-key business. All right, so you're 20, 21 years old. You're buying cement. You're a trader. You're not, I was trading, yes. You're not was, making cement. You're trading it. <clears throat> I was trading at that time. Now, cement is your main business. We'll talk about it in a moment. But why is cement such a big part of uh, Africa's, uh, you know, wealth? At well, least you in know, Nigeria? The, the issue is that when you look at cement, cement is what builds infrastructure. And we need a lot of infrastructural deficit. In Nigeria alone, we have about 17,000 deficit of housing. And it is all over in, uh, you know, Africa. So when we started cement in Nigeria, we realized that majority of it was actually imported. And that is why we went in there, we s started, and it's a long story. So you ultimately were trading cement, and then was it hard to get the money to keep that business going? No, it wasn't really hard. Uh, at that time, I was buying domestically. We started importation in 1980, because I started business in 78. So by 1980, we started importing sugar, rice, you know, commodities generally. And then we stopped the cement uh, business because the cement I was actually doing local trading. It wasn't really import business. We started import of cement in 2000. Okay, so you had a cement uh, trading business. Um, somebody thought Lafarge may be buying it. You decided not to sell because they wanted control. And yet you then decided to build your own cement manufacturing business. Is that right? Yes, I decided in 2003. Uh, to build my own cement. That time, Nigeria was only producing about 1.8, 1.9 million tons. But we went ahead and started with 5 million tons of uh, cement okay. capacity. So what year was that? This was 2000, and we started the building end of 2003, and we finished in 2007. And so now you're the largest cement manufacturer in uh, Nigeria? We are the largest uh, cement manufacturer in sub-Saharan Africa.